welcome back. It's a hot day today. Um, the, I think the rains have finally stopped here in Portugal. So now we're probably going to have long days of uh, quite hot weather. And uh, it's unseasonably hot right now as well because it's still spring. It's only coming up to June. And um, we're still in the exploring the Pedrogão area here in central Portugal. And we actually discovered that in uh, Pedrogão Grande, the town, there's actually an old town, you know, which was, I guess it was once a village. And it's kind of just, it was just hidden away. We never actually saw it until recently. And there's an old church there and some nice old houses and stuff. And it's really cute. So we're going to film that. And then we're going to explore a few more little places around this, the area. This is in Pedrogão Grande itself right now. And look at this. It's a nice little piece of land with an old building over there. And then behind it is the church. And that's where the old um, part of the town actually is. And that's where we're going to go right now. Okay, so you can see we're actually headed away from the newer part of Pedro Grande, you know, the more modernized area of the town. We're going now into the um, older original village, uh, which is right here in the center. There's little cafes and stuff. It's much more cute, really. Yeah, supermarket, eventually. Cafes. People hanging out in the cafe. We've got a few small shops here, like this, for example, a little clothing shop. It's Saturday, things are closed. What this is? Another shop. Children's stuff? I don't know. <laughs> There's a little Aikido and. Um, it looks like a little martial arts center or something. Dance, various things, Pilates probably, yoga, and so on. That's kind of nice. Another little cafe space there. And here's the old church. This is kind of the center of this, what was once a village. And what is this here? It's not a cemetery. Look at the roof up there on the church. Look at that. Can you see that? Let's go in a bit. Isn't that amazing? It's quite something, isn't it? Why they made it so ornate and glittery for a little place like this. Okay, we are inside this beautiful old church with that amazing um, roof. There's all this activity here today and they're making a noise which is it's incredible, incredibly disrespectful for people who may want to just be here and sitting quietly and there's a bunch of kids or something. Look at the architecture of this. Just love these old buildings. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I hope these places remain preserved uh, whether people still follow. You know, Catholicism or not, it's up to them, but you can at least appreciate the beauty, you know, of the art of these places and the architecture. Now, I'm speaking quietly, but unfortunately, a lot of people there are not. amazing isn't it some kind of figure of Christ there inside a uh, display kind of thing just sort of a bit macabre but it's the old Catholic view of things okay look at that quite beautiful really isn't it such an ornate church in such a quiet little town which I'm, I'm thinking that when this church was built, it was little more than just a, a village, really. So, anyway. 
I'm going to go out now. So yeah, they've got a group of kids in here. That they should have been asked to keep quiet as far as I'm concerned, out of respect for other people. There we go. We're outside it again. It's amazing. This is a little kind of village square, I guess this is, just outside it. There's Bab over there. He didn't want to go in. Oh, oh my God. Who's that? <laughs> huh? So much for a quiet day of worship at the church, you know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Bab didn't want to go in because there's too much activity for kids. So that was an interesting experience, just seeing that, you know, that little area um, of the old village around the um, church. Now we're headed towards uh, a little river beach kind of uh, place. So we're going to see what that's like and just check that out. So it's a Saturday. There might be a few I don't know, though, because Portugal is not, it's not really what it used to be in terms of people, crowds and stuff like that. I think after COVID, a lot of things changed, and for some reason, a lot of people don't spend as much time out anymore as they used to. But let's see, maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> and then it'll be full of people. <laughs> We're going up this windy road, and this is close to the river Zazer, and we've made some videos already in the hikes along the river Zazer. And um, now we are actually going to another area, away from that, higher up. Um, we're actually going right over the dam. You can see the dam down there, the Cabrillo Dam. Anyway, it's looking pretty busy. Oh, look, Pedrogão Grand Municipio. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a picnic area. So it's actually quite busy, not as much as it used to be but still a lot of people here well we're looking for parking just so we could film a little bit and for some reason they've cordoned off this parking area which is really bad for a saturday ah oh, here we go when people are looking for parking anyway we have found some right here so we're just gonna check it out a little bit all right so we're gonna check this area out it's I have to be honest, it's not our kind of thing because it's a little bit crowded and sort of, I don't know. <laughs> it's very much a food and eating kind of area with lots of other people hanging out. But, you know, some people really like this and it's right by the river, so it's nice. And I think you can swim down there. Okay, so, so we just parked. Let's go see. And Bob just noticed there's actually a, what looks to be a campsite up there on the other side of the road. So, hmm, interesting, because now you're starting to see people coming out of the woodwork <laughs> to these places. So anyway, if this is your kind of thing, then there you go. There's like a grilling station or something over there. I can hear music playing. It's sort of barish. Oh, that's why there's a bar thing over here. So anyway, and that's kind of the bring your own food kind of place, but there's also like some kind of food truck thing over there too. This is the boat ramp or this area where you walk down if you want to go swimming. Presumably. Oh look there's a swimming area over there. So anyway this we filmed this way back. It's in one of our videos um, of the area and back then there was nobody around because the weather was still pretty cool. But now, as you can see, there are boats, there are people swimming. That's kind of nice. It's small, but I'm guessing you could still kind of hang out on the, down here if you wanted to, if you don't want to be in that tiny area over there, cramped in with everybody else. Okay, and here is the boat launch thing. You could probably swim there too, I don't know. Yeah, there's a sort of food truck that looks, looks like an old 60s truck or something. So we made this video now too because we wanted to film what it's like, you know, at this time of year when it gets kind of touristy. But then also in the quiet season, so you can see the difference. <laughs> Taking some little back roads.
roads and stuff just to sort of explore you know that's what you have to do if you want to get away from the main tourist area you really have to make a little more effort to just explore these little back roads and even maybe hike a little bit if you have time this little windy road wow look at that and they come pretty fast down here so you always always careful there's there's a little wall here sticking out all right you always have to be extremely careful on these roads here in portugal because if you're driving these people they often drive pretty fast on these tiny little roads where you can't see what's on what's coming still in that area a dog on ground called the val do barco i believe this is Dog's not used to seeing people walk around anymore. Nobody walks about anymore. It's just cars coming through here, mostly. It's a bit sad. Someone's been fixing up that house there. So I'm actually walking down to a little, let's just say a more sort of unknown, um, little beach area that some of the local expats and local people go to and I'm assuming it's not very busy but a friend of ours told us about it and he goes there swimming so I don't think it's very well known it's one of those little tucked away places you know that um, isn't really hugely advertised or anything so let's check that out and it's just a few minutes walk further it's for sale See, so many of these little places are for sale now. I think a lot of the younger people no longer want to live in, um, you know, in rural places too. Ah, oh, there's a, a place, a queijaria artisanal. That means artis, how do you say it in English? Artisanal, whatever, cheese. So it's someone locally who makes um, goat cheese. Okay, we're coming up to another little fork. It's just a 10 minute walk so far to get to this point from where I started. Okay, so the cheese making place is down to the right. And then down here, presumably, leads to the little swimming area. We probably could have parked here somewhere, but anyway, Bab didn't want to come this far so I decided to just walk down so it's pretty quiet so far isn't it well hopefully we're almost there <laughs> there's a nice modern modern um, rustic house but it's uh, made in the old style which I love I think that's so much more beautiful look at that it's actually a home that's actually so much more beautiful than uh, than a lot of the <clears throat> modern buildings I find. And also you don't have to worry about it not looking good, you know, because a lot of these white buildings painted white, but then that, it rains a lot here in the rainy season. And then they end up with all this mold kind of stuff going on the sides. It just looks awful in no time. Whereas this stone building just looks so much more natural and it always looks good. I'm hoping I've got the right way because this is where the guy we know said he was supposed to come. Uh, I'm assuming it's straight ahead. I'm not too sure. There's a bicycle here. I think somebody lives there. Okay. Anyway, I feel a bit weird just coming here. Uh, I hope this isn't someone's property. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking into. Anyway, let's see. Where is this river okay, beach? I, think I can see no, no, the no. river. So we're headed in the right direction. It's just a matter of whether this is the trail that actually goes down um, to the beach area, you know. <laughs> I should mention too that Portugal is very good for solar power. So as you can see, quite a number of people are using solar for energy. We're coming down to a more of a little, um, I don't know, better road, I guess. Still a dirt road. Now I've got to see where is this beach access area. 
and you can see there's that um, thing over there. What are those things called? I'm not sure, but anyway, that is what we filmed earlier when we were up on that um, Praia Fluvial area. So that somewhere way behind the trees there is that place that we filmed where all those people were sitting, eating and drinking and stuff. The Praia Fluvial Cabril. So we're actually pretty close. Let's look at this. It's unsupervised, well, yeah, this is the risk. So that's where it is, it's down there. And look at that down there, look. It's like a little cove sort of area. So I'm assuming it's here that he meant. I don't know. There's nothing around. I thought there was, because there's two cars there. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, there's someone swimming over there, look. Yeah, there's a swimmer over there. So this is it. You can just come here. You can swim in that little cove there on the uh, on this side here. It's just a little cove. And that sound you can hear, I think that is that place way at the top there where we drove that, um, you know, kind of where the truck was, you know, the food truck and all that. Seen in the distance over there, like on the other side, you can see there are cars parked, so here and there, which means there are different places that are accessible. Obviously fewer by car, but you know, if you hike all the way around, I'm sure you could find really nice spots to just go. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's it. Now I should mention that I don't quite know how to explain how to get to this point, but the whole idea uh, is just to encourage people to just explore, go hiking around the river, and just find different places, you know. And now I got to head back <laughs> up that hill on this, and it's kind of hot, so it's not much fun. Anyway, thanks for joining us, and see you next time on another adventure around Portugal. <laughs>